The Weber State versus Maine here. Boy, they look tough. You got to keep them honest, though. I feel like if you're Weber State, you still got to try to sneak in a run here and there. Yeah. So Weber's lived on the run all year, and these teams know that. And that's why they opened up the pass. It was surprising. They've lived by the run all year long. And you can see that Maine's done their homework. Not much. They're waiting for him. Who's their primary back here? Is it Davis. Davis. He's been great all year because Garrett's been hurt. and then But he came back, and he, he's played great the last two weeks. So they have two great running backs. Josh Davis has been phenomenal this year. Is it third and nine? Uh, it looks like it's third and nine. Yeah, but it looks like the main, so they've been excellent. So they've been excellent against the over there. Oh, he lost it. Third and 14. Yeah, but it looks like the, what they did to count it. So it wasn't a third and 14. Constantine looking here from their side. It is. Oh, dropped. Hit him right in the hands. Oh, uh, he might have scored. He might have scored. Right in the hands. He was slanting across yeah, there. Like, uh, Weaver's really getting, really getting uh, that cross, that cross action, the slant slants, the flats. Uh, I don't think he would have got the first. The corner, the safety came up. So they're funny. Intended for AJ Allen, who's just unable to, uh, just unable to hold on to him. Heard some footsteps. Doug Ward, second punt of the second punt of the afternoon. First, first one was a good one. This looks good. End over end, and it will take a wildcat bounce and go around down inside the 15 yard line. Weaver's had a good kicking, good punter and place kicker. No, as we uh, as mentioned, special teams are real important and, and real and yeah. really strong for Weaver State all, yeah. all season long. Yeah. Yeah. Showed here, yeah. Especially with, with punting and with and. and uh, punt returns. Yeah. I think this is game was on special teams like you say could be a game changer. It might make all the difference. Well, it looks like the way this is shaped up, this is going to be a war. This game ain't going to be no walk-off for nobody. This is a dogfight so far. Two good teams going at it. This isn't, like I said, this is a conference. You got to, you know, it's a playoff. These these kids are playing to win. That's what's great about this. Looks like not a whole lot to it. Yeah. 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 He's a big quarterback, isn't he? Uh, he he is. looks He's big. He's set a school record last year with five touchdown passes. Yeah. Brings him back to pass. He's pressed the lead by a team of three. That pass will be the fact that he has a big pressure. Uh, uh, he's, he's had a great year, Adam Rodriguez. He's he's quite a player. He's a good one. Big play. Weaver holds again. So we've got quite a defensive struggle shaping up so far. Really great defensive stands by both teams so far. Weaver opened up and went right down the field, boom, 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 but they slammed the door on him in the last two sets by Maine and the last for Weaver, nothing doing. Was that a straight three? Straight three and out. Three and out, three and, three and out. out. Yeah, Maine's only got one first down, and you guys look good in your opening drive. But the, since then, nothing. Nothing. You can't, so, get, you can't draw it up any better. We got defense going on in the winter, in the snow. We love that kind of stuff. I'm old school. <laughs>
I love defense too because it too. Fit as much in today's football. You know, we're yeah. starting to trend more towards the offense. It's nice to see. Here goes Rashid. He's gonna run it. There he goes. He's got some room. He's to the outside. Looked like he had it. He was about to gain an edge run. He ain't stunned. Well, it looks like he just ran out of turf. Yeah. Nice run. But still, you can't give him those chances because uh, he's if lightning. you give him any, uh, any sort of edge, he'll, he'll definitely take it the, uh, take the distance. Take it looks like Tasha Lowe there. It looks like Maine's got some pretty big linebackers, some big dudes out there. So they're... Uh, so their offensive line all, all year is that they've been giving Ferguson all sorts of time. They've been giving uh, Jefferson all sorts of holes to work with. So he gets Colonial Athletic play. Well, so they're, they're more local kids. You know, they're not you know, the same size that you would see. See, I don't know, say, an Ajax or State team or, or Southeast Missouri State. But you guys beat Villanova. You beat Western Kentucky. Some teams that were, you know, you guys were supposed to be lesser, but you went in there and beat them. Both. Did. And we came back, we were down 21 to Western Kentucky, you know, a lot of teams I feel like would fold in that situation and just go home and take the loss, they're, you know, a much tougher team, or they come from a tougher conference than you do, and we, they fought Showed back, them. it's been Maine's deal all year, they've been fighting back. These so-called lesser conferences, I don't think are lesser conferences, and talk to NFL scouts, they'll tell you they ain't lesser conferences. This field is changing because everybody's had it with the whole, you know, the Alabama, the professional league, so these scouts are all over, these, these, so-called lesser conferences are proving so much they're not such lesser conferences oh, I anymore. I a lot of things are changing in college athletics, rightfully, in a good way. I mean, as it should be, it's, it's old seeing the same teams. Corporatized we, like we that. Every Let's year. have the AT&T between free throws shot. Let's have right. the Big Mac, freaking McDonald's, freaking whatever you know yeah, brought, I mean, brought to you by every single court. five seconds let's have the you know the t-mobile free throw you know it's it's disgusting actually. it's right. so this is a brush of fresh air it is. and quite quite literally because from where from where we're standing out uh, out here our our booth is open and on the and right right next to the right next to the track yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stadium's not named, you know. Old yeah. No place I'd rather be. No, it's beautiful. So, so what we thought about Boston. Yes. Oh, Boston. I was thinking Logan. Yeah, we have Logan. Oh, up to Utah. You want to talk? You think cold? Go to Klondike yes. Valley. We call Logan up the hill. We'll show you cold. Surprise, Logan. Yeah. Of course, we're not telling anybody from Maine anything. Logan, <laughs> Utah. Here comes Constantine. Oh, what a play! Off the back foot. Dangerous pass. Very dangerous, all the way across the field. Whoa. But in the end, it all came from God. They actually uh, gained nothing, right? Yeah, lost a yard. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Angle's tough. I thought like he gained a few. I know. Turned nothing. Like I said, some great defense being played. Yeah. It was caught by uh, Ra Raheem Chakid. Maine's defense looks fantastic. The last three sets of downs. Ta Tajay Lowe was right there on cover. Tajay Lowe is one of the team's best linebackers. Back to the run, nothing doing. Stuffed him.